Hi, folks. I'm super happy to be here today. Um, my name is Lee Turner. I am an MFA candidate at East Carolina University. I'd like to say thank you to my faculty mentors, Megan Irwin and Dan Elliott. And I'm going to talk to you about implementing letterpress printing in the design of information, which is my super academic title for what's also called data humanism. Data humanism is a reaction against computer generated information design, bar graphs, pie charts, and slick infographics that populate our visual culture. I'm working to present data in a more honest and approachable way by using letterpress printing. The physicality of this process allows me to generate a more personal and embodied knowledge of the data I'm working with. The data really have a chance to tell their story. Information design is also called data visualization. What you see here is my phone usage data generated by Apple and undoubtedly available for surveillance and sale. Our data is a literal commodity. Numbers can obfuscate our humanity or numbers can make us more human. Here, I collage my letterpress prints to represent my phone usage data. In this piece, each circle is an app whose radius correlates with screen time, and the smaller dots are notifications. Shown in this way, these data have a much more personal story to tell. And the personal is universal. The specificity here is more relatable than what Apple generates on my behalf. One project I worked on in the fall, I called Bibliophile. This project's data set shows information about all of the books in my apartment on October 9th, 2022. A total of 232 books are in the snapshot. Let's follow one book through the process. George Orwell's 1984. The first step for this project was to select characters to represent the information. For these data, I chose characters I could easily annotate, O's and zeros. I knew I would be able to fill the counters with color for one data variable and draw symbols above and below each piece of type to indicate additional variables. And here we see our 232 books as individual pieces of type. And here we see 1984 on the press bed. This is the print before it gets marked up with the additional data points. Each character is a book, and my choice in which O or zero represents which book was arbitrary. The characters serve as containers for the information to come. And here's our copy of 1984. After setting up the structure of this design around the first data variable of 232 books, I moved into data analysis, which I enjoyed doing by hand. Not only are these my books, I selected which data points to include, the date of data collection, how I analyzed it, and how I'm presenting the data. There is a person making these choices about every data set. The way I am depicting the data makes this clear and keeps the human role from getting lost. After data analysis, I annotated each O or zero with the corresponding data points for each book. And here is the outcome. I am intentionally slowing down the process of working with data and purposefully using hand rendering and letterpress to show the human side of a data story. I am more engaged with the information because of the processes I am using and the audience can engage with the idiosyncrasies of hand drawing and letterpress printing. And here's our copy of 1984. A bit closer view shows the information associated with each book. This was clearly made by a human. It also happens to be about that human as well. I am my books. Let's talk about 1984. 
The annotations tell us I acquired the book before 2020. The topic is both political theory and it's a novel. It's small, it's a paperback, it's a book that I own. The spine is white, it's fiction, and I finished reading it. The final step in letterpress printing, as you know, is redistribution or putting back all your type. And although some find this part of the process tedious, I love it. A snippet of another project. I took a bunch of songs friends shared on Instagram and I compiled them into a playlist. For each song, I identified the data points of musical genre and how long the song was. I assigned each genre a character and longer songs are shown by bigger letter forms. After printing the music letter forms, I added an eighth note to give the audience a hint about the data content. And I added the word we to celebrate everyone who shared songs that I added to the playlist. And don't tell anyone, but I haven't redistributed this type yet. Next up, I'm moving into my thesis work, which will center around degrowth. Degrowth is a critique of the capitalist idea that economic growth is equal to societal success. Instead, degrowth seeks a collective shift in priorities from profits to ecological and social wellness. My thesis will include my personal data on simple living. I am excited to continue exploring information design through letterpress printing and working to show how data is human. The end. <laughs>